Hi everybody, Bob Gower of BobCanHelp.com. Welcome to video five in our uh, series of the three essential steps to creating a culture of value in your business. Uh, again, we're looking at lean and agile thinking and adding those into your business effectively. We've already had a couple of tips. We've seen that um, it's important to establish a product owner, one person who is responsible for all communication between developers and, and, um, and uh, the business side of the house. We've also seen that it's very important to um, build something, to protect an iteration so things actually get completed, projects actually get released. Our third tip is to get better. And this means to get better continuously. Um, this comes out of the, sort of the Japanese, the, the Toyota production um, uh, philosophy, which would be Kaizen, which means to continuous improvement. And so in order to have continuous improvement, what you need to do is you need to review the sprint, review the iteration on the last day of that sprint. And I actually say after close of work. So work is all done. We are completed. We're finished. We've stopped. Let's sit down and talk about how we did. And doing this religiously is one of the most important things. Again, it's you know my step three. So it's very high on my list of things that you can do in order to make sure that you are continually building a better mousetrap, a better system, and the system is getting better and better over time. I recommend that we make this meeting fun, um, that we have eat and drink. Um, and this is the one time that I think beer in the office is not a bad idea. But it's a, it's a relaxing time where people can come together, but it's still serious business, right? But the work is finished, we sit down, we look at each other, and we say, how can we work better together next time? How did we do this time? What can we improve next time? And we really have a very serious conversation about this. Um, but we also make sure that we have fun. And there's a lot of different formats you can use. There's whole books on what's called a sprint retrospective, which is essentially what we're talking about. There are whole books of different formats you can use. I have a couple that I like, probably in some later videos. I'll be, uh, be sharing those with you. Um, but the, the, the one thing I will say I think that's very important in any format you use is that you make sure the meeting is time boxed. In other words, when you get to a certain time, you stop talking and you all go home. Uh, and enjoy yourself, that you don't turn this into sort of the never-ending retrospective. That's just painful for everybody. So our next video, we're going to recap everything and make sure that you, that you really, I'm going to kind of highlight what I think are, the, again, the most important points. Thanks so much for watching. My name again is Bob Gower. It's bobcanhelp.com. Please leave a comment below. And yeah, thanks once again for watching.